welcome um welcome back guys um sorry I, I know i i stopped all of a sudden um just because something came up and i actually had to stop and so um yeah so this is um now part three of my holiday update and this should actually be the fun this actually will be the final part um because it's not much left yeah so i just want to apologize um this for all that's all of a sudden having to cut off like that. Um, I was going to add this on to the second part, but then the second part has already gone on for 20 minutes, right? So, you know what? I'll just make a third part. So, um, as I was saying, um, if you if you um, at the end of the last one, I was about to show you my um, the rest of my VHSs, which are anime. Um, is this anime is something I've been wanting to get into. Um, I've gotten um, sort of into it a bit um, last year. But um, I'm actually wanting to get into it more. Um, but a lot of the stuff is kind of weird. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, so I'm just going to show you some. Um, I only have four anime um, VHSs, and um, yeah, so the first one is Street Fighter Two: The Beginning of a Journey. Um, this is an anime, I guess. Um, I think this is an. Well, this no. This is the first three episodes. Um, the Beginning of a Journey. The King of the Air Force and landing in Hong Kong. Um, it's on for eighty. Well, I'll take the time for. It. Yeah, so that's yeah. I think this is like an anime. I don't know how many they made. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um. And next one is another Street Fighter one, but this one's called um, Street Fighter Alpha. Um, I think this is another series. Um, I, I don't know because, I, you know, I don't really have much Street Fighter. I probably have more Mortal, Mortal Kombat than Street Fighter. But yeah, so it's, yeah, because I have the Street Fighter movie, the live movie. I have the first animated movie they made. I still haven't watched it. I yeah, I have one of the games. I think it's Super Street Fighter. Can't remember. It's been a while since I've played actually my Super Nintendo. Um, so um, anyways, um, this is um yeah Street Fighter Alpha. Um, yeah, I think this is an actual movie, or it's maybe episodes combined into a movie. I don't know. So, three okay, Next one is another anime. Now, this one, um, I've gotten, I'm, I'm starting to get into, but it's going to be a while before I get actually into this one, because I actually been wanting to get into it for years. Um, yeah. So, anyways, well, uh, before I continue, I'll show you. Um, this is um Dragon Ball Z the movie. Dead Zone. Now this is um, Dragon Ball Z. Um, what I have been watching last, I started watching last year was um, the original Dragon Ball. Um, which I just actually just before Christmas finished Emperor Pilaf Saga. So I'm actually really excited to watch more, the rest of Dragon Ball and then venture into this. Um, but I, I just have this VHS. Um, I think this is the first Dragon Ball Z movie because before this is all Dragon Ball movies, and then this was the first one. Actually, I have all of them on my computer. So. Yeah. I've watched the first three um, Dragon Ball movies. I've watched the Peel Off Saga, and I'm actually going to be getting ready to watch the um, the Path to Power um, Dragon Ball movie, which is um, the, what came out in I think '95, no '96, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Dragon Ball. So I'll be probably watching that. Then after that, I'll be watching going into the second saga of Dragon Ball, which is the Tournament Saga. I think I can't remember, but yeah. I'm actually watching Funimation. I was actually, I started watching on Hulu, but they only had the first five episodes of it's of Dragon Ball, so I ended up watching all of them on Funimation, or Funimation, I wonder how you say it. So I'm actually watching on there. So I actually, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's surprising it took me this long. Um, I, yeah, um, I, I remember watching a bit of Dragon Ball. Um, when it was like on in the late 90s, but I remember it was on really, really late, so I didn't get to see it all the time. I remember it was I'm very interested because they were looking for the Dragon Ball. I was like, oh, this is interesting, but I, I think I just missed so much that I never really got into it. And it's, it's something I always want to get into, and I think I'm finally into it. Um, as you can tell, I mean, if you go, if you want to check out my um, page on YouTube, you can see the pages um, of Goku and Boma and Yamchi, I think. Um, the piggy one night. <laughs> piggy. <laughs> yeah, if you know, if you know what I'm talking about, then well, anyways. Um, so that's Dragon Ball Z, the movie Dead Zone. I'm sorry for getting a little off topic, but I just want to take my. I'm getting into Dragon Ball now. Um, so you, you might see videos for that, maybe. I, I don't know. It depends how much I end up watching this year. So that's um, Dead Zone. 
And then I got another Dragon Ball Z movie. Um, this one, I'm not quite sure which one this is. But this is um, Dragon Ball Z, the movie, The World's Strongest. And also, no, it's not brand new, it's actually um, used. And I can't wait to watch these. Especially now that I'm starting to get really into quite a bit of um, Dragon Ball. So anyways, um, that's it for um, my VHSs. Um, so I guess next we're going into my DVDs. And, um, uh, um, if you hear that noise behind me, that's actually, um, the fern. It's, it, make, it makes loud noises and whatever. So I just want to apologize for that. Um, so anyways, um, so next we're going to the DVDs. Um, the first DVD, there were the first three DVDs. It's actually ones I got before Christmas. I actually posted these on my Facebook page. Um, I, unfortunately, uh, that was back in September. And, I've <laughs> and I actually, actually got really not watching much of them. Um, I watched only, well, I'll show you. I only got to watch a bit of it in November, the first one, and then the rest I just never got around to watching. So, um, anyways, there, um, the Doctor Who, the Doctors Revisited, you get the four stories, um, William Hartnell, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, and Tom Baker. And, um, the ones you get are the Aztecs with William Hartnell, the Tomb of the Cybermen, a really good one with Patrick Troughton, my first Patrick Troughton one I've seen, it's a really good Patrick Troughton story. Really like this. It's too bad that a lot of his stories are lost. If, I, mean, I don't want to go into a discussion, but go on, like on Wikipedia and, or or go to Zero Nice Rack's channel and he did a whole like in depth thing about the missing episodes. So yeah, um, John Pertwee. Unfortunately, I didn't get to watch that one, which is Spearhead from Space's first one, and the first one in color, mind you. And Pyramids of Mars. I haven't gone around to watch them either. Um, since this one's been open, I guess I'll show you this one. Um, this is this is slip cover. Same thing. Um, yeah. There's a lot of advertisements there. And then you get this. Not really much disc artwork. Yeah. Yeah. This is not that much. I'm guessing they're basically the same just with whatever doctor design. Really. So I'm really excited for um to eventually watch the rest. Um, I'd say I'm really, I was actually surprised when I watched Tomb of the Cybermen because I haven't finished watching William Hartnell's run and I was actually planning on watching these in November but yeah but anyways um, when I got to Peter Patrick Troughton's um, story I was like oh, I was a little worried oh, okay, I, haven't, because I haven't finished William Hartnell and I don't know but you know, I actually really like that I can actually wait to get to more of it but like I said unfortunately long it's missing so yeah, so that's um, the doctors we visited. Um, first to fourth doctor, I guess they call it. Sorry for the glare there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, next one is the next set. Um, that one I actually bought. I think I paid almost fifty dollars for. I know that's a lot, but yeah, that was. It's, it, was a, it was actually a different mall. I went to two malls um, to get these, and um, I found that one at the second mall I went to. But I found these ones at HMV. I'm um, here in Canada. We actually still have an HMV. And I found these. I think they're like. I think maybe they're forty dollars for the both. Maybe I'm not quite sure, but I mean, unfortunately, I didn't get around to watch anything. There's actually this one I really wanted to watch, and unfortunately, well, anyway, I know I keep saying it, but anyways, this is um the doctors we visited, um Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, and Paul McGinn. This one I really wanted to watch. Yeah, like this one I was really wanted to check out the most, um, but so I can't really check out. Yeah, so anyways, um, you get Peter Davison's Earth Shock, which is my favorite story that I've seen so far. Like I've seen a lot of Doctor Who, like not 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 a lot, lot, but um, I'm quite a bit of Doctor Who, and so far, Earth Shock is actually my absolute favorite story. I, I really like that one a lot. I mean, if you've seen it, um, it's it's really good. Um, unfortunately, it's gone out of print. Um, I had a chance to get a Region 2 DVD to watch it. Um, but now I actually don't need that read. Well, I still need it because it has the bonus features on it. But, um, yeah, but this has Earthshock here, so I don't need to worry about the episode. Um, yeah. So, yeah, make sure you check out Earthshock. It's a really good episode. Um, Colin Baker's story, um, Vengeance on Faros. Um, um, yeah. Um, Remembrance of the Daleks with Sylvester McCoy. I really want to check that one out. Because I've seen clips of that one. I really want to check the Remembrance of the Daleks one. Which is uh, actually the last, uh, yeah, yeah, the last, um, dialect story from the classic Doctor Who series. And then Doctor Who, the movie I've actually seen with the car, um, Paul McGain. Paul McGain, whatever. Yeah, so it's, it's, I, I guess it's okay. I know a lot of people are mixed on it, but I thought it's okay. I guess I can't really say too much about it because he always. Yeah. So, um, that's. 
Uh -huh. There's um, oops, okay. There's um, the uh, throughout the top picture. Yeah, really exciting. And then the next one is um, the more the new Doctor Who's um, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, and Matt Smith. Now I'm here in Canada on the Space Channel. Um, they were showing a uh, Doctor Who marathon, like from like this the new Doctor Who from I guess cr the beginning of Christopher Eccleston's run to um, I guess the end of Matt Smith's run, I think, or maybe, no, me, I thought anyone through, um, uh, what's his name, the new one, okay, 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 just wait a minute, um, oh, I, can't, I can't think, I've watched all the episodes, except for the Christmas one, um, Peter Capaldi, yeah, Peter Capaldi, um, they, they, yeah, I I guess it went all the way up to um from like I said from the first um the beginning I guess Rose with Chris Ferguson right up until um whatever the last one with um Peter Capaldi in it and then that was followed up by the Christmas special which I haven't come around to watching yet um yeah and but anyways what I'm saying is um that there was that was on for like about almost an entire week showing all those episodes and I actually got to watch. A few um, David Tennant episodes, and I thought they were really good, so I can't wait to watch more of them. And so yeah, and um, can't really say about Matt Smith or Chris Rock or I'm always saying they look okay. Um, yeah, so that's um, those three. Um, for Christopher Eccleston, you get Bad Wolf and The Parting of the Ways, which I think is his last story. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, David Tennant, you get The Stolen Earth and Journey's End. Actually, that one I think is his end. I, I, I don't know, I can't remember now. And then Matt Smith, you get The Impossible Astronaut and Day of the Moon. Okay, so that's that one, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it looks like good um, episodes. Um, that's it for the Doctor Who's um, I got. Um, Next, um, we'll go into the regular DVDs. Those were, like I said, I got back in September, and I thought, I just thought I'd show them off, because I haven't really showed Doctor Who off before. Um, so next we're going to the animated DVDs. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll start with the animated DVDs. Um, sorry, let's start with this one. Um, this is called, um, Saturday Morning Cartoons, 1960s, but it's only, like, a best of. Um, you get Quick Draw McGraw. Porky Pig, Space Goes, and Adam Ant. Um, yeah. This is like the old cartoons, like from the 60s, I guess. Let's see. Um, next year, um, I have um, Tom and Jerry, The Magic Ring. I think this is actually the first movie they did after the movie from the 90s, which a lot of people I know hate, but I actually like the movie, um, The Magic Ring. Next is um, another one. Um, this one is um, it's a double feature. It's Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein, and Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Dwarfman. Oh, are they? You can see them. I don't... I, I, yeah, 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 okay. Sorry for the terror. Um, Mm. I actually have both these on VHS, but I, I like these. And these are actually the last animated things they did for Alan and the Chipmunks before they did the live movies. Um, next is um, Toy Story of Terror, which is their Halloween special they did back in 2013. Um, I haven't gone around to watching Toy Story 3, surprisingly. As much as I like Toy Story, I haven't gone around to watching the third one. Okay. I just have a lot of movies like that that I want to watch that I haven't got around to watching. Just, yeah. um, now, this one I think I might have shown before, um, but I can't remember. But anyways, it's um, The Secret of Nim. I think I might have shown one of my videos in the summer, I'm not quite sure. I'm actually, I, I mentioned this before, I think, I, yeah. I'm trying to get all Don Bluth's movies on DVD. 
um, yeah, so this is actually one of my favorites of his. Um, this one and The Land Before Time are actually my two favorites from Don Bluth. Um, and um, you have to, if you want to get this one, make sure it's the Family Fun Edition. You can see it right How well you can see it. It's right at the top, and because they have a bunch of, bunch of other editions, and but uh, this one I think is the best one because they have a, lot, a, a few extras in here. Um, yeah, yeah the, um, the John Blues movies I need are, um, I need his first one, um, called Banjo, I think, I'm not sure it's, or no, maybe not Banjo, um, and it was it's some, it's only like 20 minutes or something, I have it on VHS, but I, I guess the way I do have all of them, but I want to get all of them on DVD, so I need that one, his very first one that came up before, that, that was his first movie, but they actually released a DVD of his actual first, like, 20 minute thing. I can't remember his name, it's, um, so I need that one, uh, I want to get, more well, land for time I have to get, um, All Dogs Go to Heaven, Rocker Doodle, actually Rocker Doodle is going to be hard to get because that's actually out of print, so my, I might end up getting a Region 2 DVD of that, it, unless they end up re-releasing it, uh, uh, oh, A Troll in Central Park, and I think that's it, I think I have all the other ones, yeah. I think that's what I want to need, like for the like m actual movies. Yeah. So um. Anyways, um, the next one is um. Is Transformers the movie the twentieth special the twentieth anniversary special edition? Now, unfortunately, this has gone out of print, and I actually bought this on eBay. Now, I don't know if this is a bootleg. The um, guy advertises that he doesn't sell bootlegs, but I don't know. Um, it's from Korea. Um, yeah. This is from yeah. So I, I don't know if it's a bootleg or whatever. Yeah, so um, this is that, that. I'm actually like the movie. I'm actually I'm I'm actually I'm wanting to announce that um I'm actually going to be selling my Transformers Complete series. Um, the reason is is um I'm I was going to watch it last year because for the um thirtieth anniversary of Transformers, but and that's actually the purpose I bought it because I was actually planning on watching it um, but I just never got around to watching it and I, and tell you this, I'm actually I'm actually going to be buying something else and so I just want to save the money for that and that's what I'm going to sell I probably will end up buying it again I know this, and it sounds it might even sound kind of stupid but that's just what I want to do because I just want to sell it and then probably get it later on um, so yeah, I'll be selling my Transformers um, I'm thinking actually I probably end up putting it up, on, up for auction on, on eBay um, but that I'm actually so sad now maybe I'll make a video about that when I start selling some stuff and the next one is um well yeah I guess yeah and the next one is um the um, this is a Christmas one I didn't get to watch it but it's Rudolph the Reynolds Reindeer 50th anniversary collector's edition. Yeah, this is 50th anniversary that just came out. And yes, this is the Blu-ray. And no, it's not my first Blu-ray. Um, it's actually the first Blu-ray I'm showing you guys, but it's not the um, first um, Blu-ray I have. The first Blu-ray I have is um, An Adventure in Space and Time, which was that Doctor Who movie that talked about the history of it or how it got started. Um, I, I watched the DVD because we didn't have Blu-ray at the time. Um, I guess I can show you that. Um, yeah, actually, wait, I'll just show you that in a minute. So that's the... Um, yeah. Um... Oh. Oh, oh. 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 It's a Sony one, and, yeah. Uh, so we got the Blu-ray player. Um, maybe I'll show you once we actually hook up. We haven't hooked up yet. Um, tell you the truth, um, I'm not. I actually don't really care about it, just because there's really nothing. The only thing I want on Blu-ray is um, the Little Shop of Horrors extended cut because you get a bunch of extras with it. 
but anything else I yeah the um yeah the what well, well, um yeah it's just I, I it's really weird because when I, when I got a DVD player I was so so excited oh my god I got a DVD player but now but there's like meh like okay we got a DVD player like okay yeah I I know it's yeah. Like maybe if they start releasing stuff that's just for Blu-ray then I might be more excited, but until that time I don't think I'm gonna be as excited as when I was with D V D. Yeah. Um so anyways, I'm sorry to get off topic there. Um the next show, um actually I'm gonna change that. Like no 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 mind. The next show is um a show that I don't know how many people actually like it. I think it only lasted two seasons. So I am hoping to get the second season because I remember actually liking it. It's um Lunatics Unleashed. Um I don't know how what the reaction of this is. Um I, I liked it. Um unfortunately I think only like I said it only lasted two seasons. And this is this is the first season. Oh, this is the first season that um came out a couple years ago and yeah. Yeah, so I have to get um I have to get this season two and then I have the whole series. <laughs> yeah. Um Looney Tunes Unleashed was about um it's like these Looney Tune characters but they're superheroes and you know, I, I, I liked it. Um yeah. Um, next is actually two Fox Kids DVDs. Yeah, remember Fox Kids? <laughs> um anyways, um the first one, well, it's not really Fox Kids DVDs. It shows that aired on Fox Kids. Um, the first one is Goosebumps. It came, it came from beneath the sink, mm. um, which has um, that one and String Peas. Mm. I think I only paid five dollars for this at Walmart. Mm. And the other one is another. Foxy. Now, some people, I, I don't know if, you, if some of you realize this, but um, back in the late, I think, 97, there was a show, um, like, well, as you know, in 1996, they made a live-action um, Casper movie. And then after that came out, th there was actually a series on, um, the, on Fox Kids called The Spectacular New Adventures of Casper. And what a lot of people might not know is they actually have released uh, at least the first season on DVD. And I have this is um volume one. I actually have the other volume I actually bought it used. I actually bought it used one time. Um the second volume, yes, yeah, so this is the first one. So I actually have the entire first season now of the spectacular new adventure with Casper. But I hope I don't know whoever wants the rights to be the Fox or whoever owns the rights to this show, I hope please release the rest or or just release the whole thing again. As a complete series, so it's the spectacular new adventures of Casper. Um, the next show, um, it also aired on Fox. I'm um, not on Fox Kids though. Um, and it is this is King of the Hill, the complete third season. Now, um, it, um, King of the Hill, um, is actually one of my favorite prime time anime shows, along with Futurama and The Simpsons. And I was actually very sad when it ended. Um, yeah. Um, I know um, back in November they actually finally, after 8 years, I actually posted this on my Facebook that after 8 years they have, they're finally releasing um, the rest on um, on DVD. Um, they've actually released seasons 7 and 8 on DVD back in November. I haven't got those yet. I actually have to get... Uh, I have to get... Uh, I'll show you this one first. Um, this is King of the Hill, the complete 4th season. So now I have the first four seasons, so I need seasons um, five uh, and six, and then I need um, the two new ones, seven and eight, and then I have all the ones that are available. So I'm hoping that they don't stop again because that's ridiculous. Like they stopped for eight years because Fox said they weren't selling very well, and so I think another company picked the rights up finally, and they're going to continue releasing it. So yeah. I'm not quite sure when to get to one of the later seasons. I think it's like season nine. Eight or nine that were um, because um, when it originally aired on TV, um, 
a lot of the time the episodes didn't air because of um the, it would be preempted by baseball. But instead of airing it at another time, they actually aired it the following season. So a lot of the following season um was basically episodes that didn't get to air in the one season. But yeah, and and that actually, it almost got canceled because of that. But went on for like I think three or four more years. So. Yeah. So I'm hoping they finish releasing the show this time. Um, yeah. So um, that's it for the cartoon ones for now. Um, yeah, that's this the animated ones for now. So next we're going to get into some live movies. Um, the first one is called In the Line of Duty: Blaze of Glory, with um, Lori Loughlin from Full House and Aunt Becky from Full House and Bruce Campbell. Um, I don't know this one. I just thought because tell you this is um, really for Lori Loughlin because I've never really seen her anything other than Full House and Casper Spirit at the Beginning, which is the second Casper movie. And so um, I just want to see her playing something different. Yeah. That's that. That's um, in the line of duty, Blaze of Glory. Um, next one, I don't know if I showed this one before, but. Um, it's called um, Pocket Ninjas. I found this at the dollar store. It's, 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 it, it, to me, it looks something like um, Three Ninjas. I'm not quite sure though. I'm going to pay two dollars for it. And it's called Pocket Ninjas. Um, oh, okay, okay. okay. And another one, I um, actually got the same time as the Casper one, was um, Ernest Gets Stupid. Um, yeah, this is actually my first Ernest movie on DVD. Actually, uh, I think it's actually my second Ernest movie I have. I actually did. I actually taped this one a long time ago, and I also taped the Christmas one. But the only other one I have is um, Ernest Rides Again, which is on VHS. And now this one. I would like actually like to get all of them. So yeah. So Ernest gets stupid. Um, next is a movie that I actually like a lot. Um, it's probably one of my favorite movies when I was younger. Um, I have it on VHS. I still have the VHS. Haven't watched it for a while, but um, I, I've always liked this movie. Um, I remember one of my friends. Um, their mother was like, like she thought it was actually. Well, I'll show you what it is first. It is Matilda. You know, I I always liked this movie. Um, and like I was saying, um, one of my friend's mothers, um, she considered like child abuse, which I guess you could say, but it's more like fun. Like it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's whatever. If you, you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It. Like I like the movie, and um, now the reason that I, usually I won't buy, um, I don't really upgrade that much because there's really nothing on the DVDs. Like if my VHS still works and it's placed perfectly fine, then I don't really upgrade. The only time I upgrade is if there's an extras and one of the extras on here is Mara's movie about making Matilda and um as you know um Matilda's played by Mara Wilson who you might remember like the youngest daughter and Mrs. Doubtfire and some other movies. Um yeah. But um I'm guessing that's a special feature about like her like from what year is this? What is this doing here? I guess 2007, I guess it was talking about her time making Matilda, so I really wanted it for that. So yeah, so that's um, Matilda. Let me maybe do a review on this one day, because I really enjoy that one. Um, another one is kind of, kind of up here, like I actually taped it, but um, I actually have it on DVD now, um, is Sister Act. Like, yeah, I, li I like the Sister Act movies. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I guess I could say I like this one the best, but I also like the second one. I got the Sister Act. And speaking of the second one, I got Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. Like I said, I, I like this one, but I think I kind of like the first one a bit better. But like I said, I do like this one though. Yeah. And the last one is actually a movie my dad bought me for Christmas. Um. It's really my first one of him. Um, it is WWE Superstar Collection, John Cena. Yeah, um, yeah. It's I'm not really a big fan of John Cena, but it's it's okay. It's not many matches. 
I, mean, I don't. It's not really. It's not really. I. It's not like I hate John Cena. It's just I think he's on too much, and that's why. Um, but like I said, only has like a few matches. So it's like let's say like only four matches with him. How long is that for? I don't see how long he's on for. I think it's right for like maybe an hour or something. I don't know. Like I said, I don't think he's on for very long. See, so this um, John Cena. Um, yeah. So now we're going into the final ones. Um, now this next one, um, I actually found this. I actually have this on VHS. Um, but I'm trying to get all his movies. Um, I'm actually starting. I might actually get all the movies on of him and his father on DVD, and it's kind of weird I'm talking about this because um, I never really I talked about him I think one of my first videos. Well, actually not really. I never really talked about. Him. Anyways, um, it is Showdown in Little Tokyo with um Dolph Lundgren and Brandon Lee. Um, I have all of Bruce Lee's movies. Um, I actually want to upgrade them to DVD. I haven't got around to watching them, but I don't know, I just want to upgrade them. Or maybe I'll wait until I watch them and upgrade them. I, I don't know. But anyways, um, I actually have this one on VHS. Um, so actually, I can show you. Not really much DVD. It's yeah, you can really see it. Okay. Yeah, you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. Let me get some pictures over here. The movie. Um, I know a lot of people like this one. And um, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I, I like so I have all the Bruce Lee's movies. Um. Most of them were kind of mixed on DVD and VHS. Actually, I think we have one VHS actually. Um, the Return of the Dragon, one with Chuck Norris. I might want to upgrade that one to um, DVD, but the DVD is hard to find, and I don't really want to buy the Shout Factory one just because it's with um, Game of Death, which I already have on DVD. So um, um, I may, maybe pick up that anyways. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, the Brandon Lee ones I need is. Uh, Rapid Fire I need, which I, I could get really cheap on Amazon, and actually Shark Factory just released, um, I don't know what's it called, I, I can't remember, I mean, it's, it's Brandon Lee's first movie that I need, I, mean, I can't remember where it is, so I need that one, and, um, and I have all of them, and then I put then I want to actually watch both Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee movies together, and I might do, I do a special series of videos on those when I get around to watch those, um, I actually started collecting them back in 2013, um, I think around the time I started here on YouTube. So I'm almost two years and so I just need two more and I finally have that collection complete. So yeah, so that's the showdown in Little Tokyo. Um, next one... The next one might be kind of controversial um, because I've already showed a thing from Salvetti. Um, yeah, but if you know me, you know how big a fan of this I am of this franchise. Um, if you watch my videos back in the summer of 2013, that you know how big of a fan I am um, of this franchise. So, anyways, it is. Um, it is the d the first of the show, the first DVD of Power Rangers Super Mega Force. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. Um, I know I'm going to talk about this in my podcast, but I know a lot of people hate this season. Um, which I understand completely, and actually, for the first time, I actually agree with um, with a lot of people. Me, I I like it, but I do, like I said before, I do think it'd been a lot, lot better. Um, yeah. So that's Super Mega Force. Yeah. I mean, and, um, to, you get the first four episodes, you get Super Super Mega Force. Yeah. Um, Earth Fights Back, Blue Saber Saga, and Alliance Alliance. And this thing had so much potential and. And I actually um, think it's overhyped. Uh, I've actually heard that before and I actually agree with that a lot. And I think this this season especially was overhyped. And which I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people were let down from it because, yeah. So, um, yeah, I might get more into that when I do my podcast. Um, actually, talking about my podcast, I know I said in my um, 
first video back that I'm going to do a podcast about the Neo Saban thing, but I think I'm not going to just talk about that. I'm actually going to talk about all the Power Rangers, like not all the Power Rangers, probably just from when Disney sold it up until Dino Charge. Let's probably talk all about that and everything. I know I talked about some of that in my history of Power Rangers back in 2013, but um, I think I want to get a bit, a bit more detail. Just to my thoughts and feelings on the Power Rangers, like from when Disney sold it to now. So um, you can look forward to that probably on Saturday. I'll probably be filming it or recording it because I'm not actually going to do like a podcast. Probably record it on Friday and then upload it on Saturday. Next um, is a DVD that actually I think just came out in stores to, um, today or is coming out in stores very soon. And um, um, Walmart was actually um, selling these um, a couple months ahead of time. Um, and I actually finally have the complete series of the show. And um, I actually am part of the Disney Movie Club. And I almost bought this a couple of times. And it is Tailspin Volume 3. Now I have all three volumes. I um, can't wait to watch these now. Just tense with one Um I actually um um they have the Goof Troops one which is actually one of my favorites along with Chip and Joe Rescue Rangers. Um Goof Troops is one of my favorites. Um Anyways, um, Goof Troops is one of my favorites, and they, they also had them there, the two volumes and the Christmas special, but I actually ended up buying them back in, I think, two, yeah, 2013, I actually never showed them in a video, but I bought them back in 2013, and uh, from the movie club, because I didn't know at the time that Disney was going to start selling them in stores, if I knew that, then I would never bought them, so I actually paid quite a bit for them. But, yeah, oh well, wow. um, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm glad they finally released them in stores, I'm, so now we're just waiting for um, the rest of um, Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers, and more well, group troops, um, DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, um, Quack Pack, I mean, if you remember that show, um, yeah, and, yeah, and so, um, next is a, and talking about that, um, this next one, they've actually been selling at the Disney Movie Club, Club for years, and it's finally come out in stores. Um, yeah, it's I, this is another one that I kept like refusing to buy, so I'll get, get that later, get that later, and they finally decided to release it in stores. Um, like I said, first at Walmart, now it's starting to come out in other stores. And it is DuckTales, the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. So I actually picked this up um, because I watched this movie for a long time, and yeah, and I, I don't think I've seen this movie since I think when it first came out on video because I remember my cousin rented it and watched it and yeah, so I haven't seen this for like oh, probably 25 years. This is like maybe 20, 25, 24 years old. Like, yeah, it's, it's I'm just glad this finally came finally came out on DVD and I finally got it. So now I just need um. DuckTales Volume 3, um, Darkwing Duck Volumes 1 and 2, and, and, and that'd be it. Then I have all the like Duck DVDs um, that's out. So yeah, so that's DuckTales the movie. Yeah. Okay. okay, now we're getting to the final two. Now these two are complete series sets. Um, one you might think I'm we weird to forget this, but you know what? I like the show. I've seen the first season. Um, I actually have the series on bootleg, so I'm um, uh, yeah. So um, but I'm glad to have it finally officially, and it's also by Shout Factory, the same people that did the Power Ranger DVDs. Um, but this one came out back in the year 2011. Yeah, it came back in 2011, and yeah, like I said, I watched the first season. I, I liked it. Um, and it is, it's truly, truly outrageous. Yes, I got Gem and the Holograms, the complete series. <laughs> and you know, I, I like this, I know it's a, a 
girly show. But you know, it's for a girly show. It's it's a pretty good show. Yeah. You get all three seasons. And actually, um, I know Zara Nizrak, um, I think he um, said that he actually um, helped out with this series, that he had, he ha um, he sent in a commercial that he had for the show, so, yeah. yeah actually, I'll tell you the truth, out of the Transformers, G.I. Joe, and this one, the three main ones, this is actually the one I want most. Because, you know, I, I, I like this show, it's, I can't help if I like it. It, it doesn't really matter if it's a girl show, it's, I, I like it. So what? So that's the yeah, gem. And she's truly, truly outrageous. <laughs> and the last one is actually one I ordered. Um, actually, I ordered that one too, but this one I actually ordered. Um, yeah, and I was happy to get this. Um, this was um, here in Canada. We have a channel called Teletoon Metro. Um, and. Uh, and it's, it has a lot of old cartoons. Um, and this was actually one of the shows that um, I used to watch a lot of it, but then it got removed, and I decided to get the whole series. And I don't, yeah, and it is the real Ghostbusters complete collection. Yes, this is probably the biggest thing I got this year. Um, yeah, I actually paid this in two payments. Um, yeah. Uh, and say to get this, I've never actually seen the whole series. It's kind of weird because when I first um, seen the show, because I remember the show when it was originally on, I actually did not like it. I thought like, oh my god, this show. I don't like this show. But then when I we got Teletoon Retro back in 2011, I started watching. I was like, oh my god, I used to hate this show, but now I like it. And yeah, so I can't wait to watch now. I don't know if this is one of the steel cases. I heard that they're actually gone. They don't have those anymore. So, oh well. It would have been nice to have those steel cases. It is heavy. Um, but I think it would have been much heavier than this if it was steel cases. So, yeah. So, like, I can't wait to watch this. So, yeah. So, really excited to finally get Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So um, now they just have to release Extreme Ghostbusters, which is the follow-up series. I know there's one DVD released over in the UK. Um, I might pick that up if I can, um, or I might just get the episode on Blu-ray or something. Um, so I, I guess that's it. Um, that's all my holiday stuff. I'm sorry about this being three parts. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I just want to apologize for this for being three parts. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't really planning on doing three parts. I was actually planning on doing one part, but then it did turn out that way. I hope you guys stay tuned and watch these three parts. Um, the next thing I have coming up, like I said, I have my podcast I'm going to do. Um, yeah. Because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to talk about basically when Power Rangers was so back, like, so back to, well, actually, probably start from the revisions, or probably maybe the end of RPM, maybe go from RPM and then go to, like, today, just to kind of talk about a little bit of stuff. Um, just, you know, I just feel like I want to talk about it. I mean, like I said, talk about maybe why I think um, Power Rangers turned out the way they did in the past four years. Like, some some of the things why I think they turned out. Um, how stupid made was it was um, over height a lot. Yeah. How now I actually completely understand why certain power rangers didn't want to return. <laughs> mm. So yeah, um yeah, so I don't know what else to talk about. Um like I say yeah. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else happening. No. I can't really unless there's some kind of like big thing that, like maybe a show or something big has been announced, then maybe I'll do a video. But, yeah. oh, actually, I should announce this. Um, I actually did this on my Facebook. Um, I posted this on my Facebook. Um, uh, um, as it's it's been announced that um, Macho Man Randy Savage, the legendary Macho Man Randy Savage, is finally being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And I'm actually so happy about that. Um, yeah, it's, it was just really exciting because um, 
one of my earliest memories of watching wrestling was actually from I guess 88, 89 during the whole Mega Powers thing or I think actually I think my first thing I've seen of them was when they broke up so I think that's my earliest memory and he's basically one of the first wrestlers I remember and I'm so glad that he's finally being inducted into the Hall of Fame mm. um, uh, yeah, so, yeah. so anyways um, thank you guys for watching and um, like I said if I don't have nothing coming up for later this week uh, I'll be doing my like I said I'll be recording my podcast on Friday and then uploading it on Saturday at least that's the plan. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed these three parts. And yeah. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Bye.